Mohammed Asilik says his wife and children were preparing food for their evening meal when the Israeli airstrike hit their home. It was July the 30th, 2014, during the third and most recent war between Hamas and Israel. Suddenly there was a massive explosion. My wife screamed, where is my son? When we went upstairs, there were eight bodies, some without their heads. This is mobile phone footage of the attack. As Mohammed rushed to pull the bodies of his sons and daughter from the rubble, the tank shelling started. When the first ambulance arrived, tank shells started targeting the area. That's when my leg was hit. The ten members of Mohammed's family who died that day, including eight children, were among the 1,500 Palestinian civilians killed during that war. Six Israeli civilians were killed. Now, four years later, Palestinians have been protesting against Israel's 12-year land, air and sea blockade of Gaza, using kites and balloons carrying burning rags across Gaza's border fence. Israel says the fires have destroyed large areas of crops and private land. And some Israeli politicians have called for another large-scale military operation in Gaza if the kite and balloon protests don't stop. The Gaza border fence is about half a kilometre in that direction. Now, during the 2014 war, Israeli tanks and mortars almost completely destroyed this neighbourhood of Shaja'ir. The Israeli military are still there. You can still hear Israeli military drones overhead. Now, there are fears here that a new war would once again destroy this neighbourhood and the lives of the people living here. This is what was left of the neighbourhood of Shaja'ir four years ago. Most buildings were either damaged or completely destroyed. And this is Shaja'ir now. Most of it has been rebuilt using some of the billions of dollars donated by the international community. Mu'ain al-Jabari's house still hasn't been completely rebuilt. He and his family fled when fighters with Hamas and other armed groups took up positions in the neighborhood to fight Israeli soldiers. I'm very worried about a future war. All of the world is watching us and nobody cares when a Muslim dies. It doesn't count. They don't even consider him an animal. But when a Jew dies, it's the end of the world. Some of these children were just babies in 2014. Maybe too young to remember, but now old enough never to forget a war that their parents so dread. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Gaza.